Pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now. Pay me or go to jail. Pay me my silver hey now. Hey guys, Victoria Roadrunner.com. Good morning, Hornets. Is your sip of chaga coffee? Uh, if you didn't see it, I just put out my uh, Ruta Flash number two, uh, talking about the lovely and talented Office of Comptroller of Currencies that has decided to pass a rule so that certain banks that um, get way too far off sides can claim exemptions for silver manipulation. Go check that out in my other video. It's insane. Uh, if you don't get notifications of my videos yet, click like and subscribe below. Um, yeah, silver manipulation is a joke, is ridiculous. It's all part of the rigging of the financial markets. It is so much more important to rig the silver market than it is any other market. Bigger than the gold market rig. Bigger than the even the foreign exchange market rig. Uh, obviously, the uh, petrodollar has been gone for decades. You don't need a petrodollar when you have computers and derivatives deciding the price of everything. What you need is regulators that bend over backwards for the criminal banking cabal. And welcome to America. That's what we have. And I'll get to that in one second on the crypto side. Um, but just a heads up to all you silver investors, the uh, the mouse is still clicking so that the price of silver is above the moving averages. I do expect them to try to slam it down again. Not, not try. They can place the price down again below the moving averages so to allow Bank of America to cover a lot of these uh, silver shorts. I don't know when it's going to happen, probably with the entire crash of the market. So just be aware of that. Stand with your silver on the sideline saying, hey, I'm just happy I have something in my hand as this whole system implodes and it's happening right now. Okay, let's talk about uh, commodities. They're letting every other commodity go crazy. Every other commodity is reaching and exceeding all-time highs except, except silver. The latest is the same people I've been talking about for a long time. Trafigura and Glencore are squeezing the zinc market this time. Not the nickel market, the zinc market. Exclusive, Trafigura is set to take zinc out of the LME system, fueling concerns, sources say. Traders worry zinc could see volatile moves after nickel chaos. LME says it's aware of the zinc tightness, monitoring all metals. Zinc market tight after smelter cutbacks on high energy costs. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. This is a game. It's a lie. Zinc market tight after smelter cutbacks on high energy costs. So they're saying high energy costs, we're going to cut back zinc. And oh, by the way, at the exact same time, Glencore's... Uh, Provozim zinc operation to enter care and maintenance. Oh, just happens to happen at the same time. Glencore and Trafigura are offshoots of Mark Rich's company. They work in tandem. Glencore is the public company. Trafigura is the private company. I've been screaming this forever. Uh, commodity trader Trafigura and other firms are moving to take large amounts of zinc out of the London Metal Exchange approved warehouses in Asia. Sources familiar with the matter said, now, I'll, I'll guarantee you that Asia, China, is not going to allow any metal to leave its borders. They will not allow any metal. You can take all the metal you want out of the Chinese warehouses. They are not going to allow any metal to leave their borders by legal means or by other means. Here's the, their current means. Another supply chain shock on deck. Cargo backlog ripples beyond Shanghai as lockdown stops trucks and container ships. China is waging a war against the West by just saying, oh my God, it's because of COVID. The West did it the whole time. It's because of COVID. China's going to say, it's just because of COVID that you can't take your, your zinc and your nickel and your silver out of our country. It's just because of COVID. Meanwhile, the entire world is getting destroyed because China is the manufacturing c capital of the world. And I, the Biden administration is just too stupid to figure something like this out. So, hey. They'll go down with the ship, bring our country down. It's a good thing that the United States is going down because we have the worst regulators in the world. We have the most criminal exchanges in the world. We have the most criminal markets in the world. So it's a good thing it gets destroyed. It's going to be chaotic, but it's a good thing. Uh, and Glencore, I don't even know what these assholes are, are citing. Miner and commodity trader Glencore will put its zinc, now purposely, 
mind you, purposely put its zinc sulfide operation in Italy on care and maintenance until there is a meaningful change in the power market prices. So what is the uh, way to get rid of higher prices is to stop manufacturing anything. I have a truck on order, by the way, an F Ford 150. Not the all electric one, the the one that's uh, it's dual, dual, not dual fuel. What is it? Hybrid. Um, it was supposed to be delivered in December. I keep calling the guy, where's my truck? Where's my truck? Oh, you're just waiting on one chip, one chip. And it's been delayed almost six months. It's insane. It is insane. I, I just don't even know what to say about it other than it's all part of the plan. This is being done on purpose. The supply chain lockdown in China is being done on purpose. China doesn't have to go to war with anybody to lock. They have the ability to lock down their country and stop exports for any reason, and they're using any reason. I hope everybody gets this. All right, let's talk about Theta. You have to have Theta in your crypto portfolio. You have to have Theta for the future, not for the, the past or even the near future. You need it for the future. Theta is staying away from the U.S. regulators. That's why Theta is not on Coinbase. That's why they're not on uh, Gemini or Kraken. The U.S. regulators are massively corrupt, and I don't know when that's going to end. Either they got to go away or something's got to break. They are going to, I believe they will use Veritasium, the Reggie Middleton's patents, to help destroy some of the cryptocurrencies that are out there right now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But Gary Gensler can say, hey, <laughs> anybody who ICO'd, you got you to gotta pay the piper. We're going to sue you. We're going to put you out of business, which they've done to many people. They can't do it again to Reggie. He's already been through that gauntlet. That's why they released the Veritasium patent. They wanted to throw a monkey wrench of chaos into the cryptos. I see Veritasium as my hedge against Gary Gensler destroying the crypto market through regulation. It won't kill it off. But it won't help it if Gary Gensler runs in there and starts filing charges against as everybody, which they are doing. By the way, uh, I know a lot of people who got into the Celsius thing, uh, to DeFi. Oh, make more money off your crypto. I, I warned against it. But anyway, Celsius is the latest lender to pull its earned products from the U.S. investors. Celsius announced this week that its crypto earned product will soon be off limits to most U.S. investors. As of April 15th, Celsius will not accept new deposits to its earned accounts from non-accredited U.S. investors. By the way, you know any, any earnings you make in this, you have to pay taxes on according to the U.S. law. So they say. That's what the IRS tells you. I mean, yeah, do you pay interest on, on do you pay taxes on interest you make? Yes, you do. Do you take, pay taxes on capital gains? Absolutely. So yes, you're going to pay taxes on money earned from Celsius. I don't know anybody who is going to declare them, but uh, you know, I it's it's a whole new world, and I'm not I'm not against standing up and declaring, hey, I'm this is bullshit. I'm not going to fund this criminal government, but expect the the ramifications of not doing that. the The criminal government could come after you. The IRS is the most criminal of all of them. They don't care about the laws. They can destroy your life if they choose to destroy your life. Think about that on you know Monday when we have to file taxes. I highly recommend if you if you think this shit is falling apart fast to uh, get an extension on your taxes, pay the penalties for the extension. Um, if you don't, there's no penalties if you don't pay up. But I mean, there, there's no reason to extend if you're not going to pay up. If you're going to pay up, so yeah, Celsius. Who knows what's going on with that? I'd, I'd say all DeFi. But it's Gary Gensler who's leading the charge at the SEC. And since when is the SEC in charge of uh, foreign exchange? If we're going to call cryptocurrencies currencies, they're not part of the regulation for the SEC at all. Or the CFTC, for that matter. Uh, foreign exchange is not taxable. Are currencies taxable? I don't think so. But hey, that's a fight you get to take up with the SEC. Anyway, uh, I was just reading this, and, I, and if they allow cryptos in the U.S. and the current system stays intact, get ready for massive regulations, massive, they're going to destroy all of DeFi. 
DeFi is pretty much gone. Celsius is under investigation in several U.S. states. Authorities in Texas, New Jersey, Alabama have questions whether its products violate SEC laws. Of course they do. In a press release, Celsius said the move was the result of, quote, ongoing discussions with the United States regulators. It means they're losing, basically. Co-founder and CEO Alex Mashinsky described the situation as a paradigm shift for the industry on Twitter. To understand more about the shift, look no further than one of its competitors, BlockFi. BlockFi recently reached a $100 million settlement with the SEC and withdrew its lending earning product from the American markets. The SEC and BlockFi's interest-paying product should be categorized as a security. So says the SEC. SEC Chair Gary Gensler has stressed for some time that he believes the number of crypto products are actually securities. The crux of what is or is not a security is the heart of many aspects of cryptocurrency regulations. Securities need to be registered with the SEC, and issuers have to follow strict rules on how they are traded and sold. So basically, the bankers can control it. That's exactly what's going on. Back in August, those who hoped Gensler's initial speech on crypto and crypto exchanges would be pro-crypto were disappointed. Gensler said he believes many crypto platforms are offering securities and should be registered with the SEC. He also told the audience he'd urge his staff to protect investors in the case of unregistered securities. We're now seeing some of the results of those actions. It's extremely unlikely is extremely likely that other crypto earned products will be forced to follow BlockFi and Celsius and withdraw reward paying products from the US market. What remains to be seen is whether either of these markets can develop different interest generating products that gain SEC approval or uh, whether evolving cryptocurrency regulation will offer an alternative alternative so- solution. You SEC does approve them. You just have to register with the SEC, and that's what these DeFi products don't want to do. They don't have the money and the lawyers and the the ability to do that, and they can't do ICOs and all that stuff. So that's why that's why Theta has stayed far away from the United States of America, which is sad, but smart, truthfully, if you ask me. Anyway, um, the amount of Theta validator nodes is increasing massively. We're up at twenty three now. Uh, with the new change to you don't need 2 million uh, tokens to be a validator. Now, there's no there's no advantage to being a validator versus a guardian node other than the validators have more prestige. I do, I would want to suggest to our friends over at Gpool, who run Gpool, why, why doesn't Gpool have a validator node? Um, yeah, I, I would think they would be one of the larger validator nodes, but I'm not, I don't know. I don't know what their story is over there or... Uh, with the 200,000, uh, um, I mean, you could probably get a pool together on the validator just to have G pool represented in the, in the uh, theta validators. That's my take. So, D, look into that. Yeah, the guys over at G pool are great. I use G pool to stake uh, everything I do because look at their uptime 100% uptime. You got to love that. I mean, if, if you're, you're staking on your own, um, you're going to have some downtime. And downtime is the killer. <laughs> so definitely, uh, 100% uptime, that's awesome. Anyway, <coughs> uh, Theta is working on their biggest problem. <coughs> Theta's biggest problem is not their patents. It's not their technology. It's not their uh, work ethic. It's their marketing. I mean... There is no marketing. And if they, if they withdraw all these data uh, tokens to sell off, to grow their marketing, except they have no marketing. Nothing gets marketed. They need a marketing department. They need, and which they are, I mean, marketing or business development, I don't know which one needs more work. But Theta Labs welcomes Andrea Berry as head of business development. So at least they're working on something. So Andrea is working on business development. Looks like she has... Uh, 15 years of experience in this in this technology that's barely 15 years old, if you ask me. Um, so bravo, you get some get some people in there for business development. Maybe get more. How about a few uh, more of the big guys? And what would happen if Apple said, "Hey, we're going to work with Theta and run a a, a validator node," uh, or Netflix, or I can name a hundred other gigantic companies who know, who know that Theta is the future of, uh, of video. 
I mean, I'd call it the future of the internet. Broadband sharing is the future of the internet. And as soon as one of Elon Musk's satellite you know, groups gets blown up, um, and all those pieces and parts blow up the other pieces and parts, people are going to learn real fast how much we need um, data. A decentralized web, web network of broadband expansion. It's a tech company. It's not a cryptocurrency. <laughs> but it still has to stay out of the U.S. because the U.S. is insane right now. Hopefully that'll end soon. Okay, by the way, on the private road, we have posted all, every single one of the uh, road shows. So you go to roadtorear.com, go to the private road, click on the private road, go to, oh, I'm talking with Jenny Moonstone today. Looking forward to that discussion really soon. I gotta get going right now. Freedom Road Show is the second one right there. All the shows have been posted. Uh, Albuquerque is the last one. They're, they're in reverse order. Um, there's Lisa and myself. That's in Phoenix. That was a blast. Great place. Uh, Jenny Moonstone live. And there's the gang. Everybody who went out there. You want, here's the, the intro Josh put together. Check it out. I got Lisa to get up there and sing with me. There's the intro. Yeah, <laughs> we did a dunk shots at the end of that one. Oh, wow. Thank you. That, thank that you, was fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So all the all the shows are up on the private road. Go check them out. They're great discussion by Andy Sheckman with Andy Sheckman um, about uh, silver. Um, this was in San Diego. Uh, go check this one out, especially... Uh, this is part two. <laughs> I love seeing the intro because I remember all the people and all the faces and, and all the stuff we were doing. It was great fun. And uh, Andy did a great job talking about silver, where we are. And I challenged him on a few things in silver and he had good answers. Not, I wouldn't say great answer on one of them, which was the hedging part. Um the hedges can change their mind at any time on how they represent their hedges. So uh, that's yet to be determined. But Andy was awesome. If you guys have any this, silver uh, needs, I have a couple. Uh, contact Andy Sheckman. Andy at milesfranklin.com. He will ship metal to your front door. Ask him what he's got in inventory. Once he gets your payment and it goes through, then he can ship it. Um, some people are, are like paying with e-checks and stuff like that, and it takes a little longer. Um, but definitely get in touch with andy we're running out of time with silver i'm not saying they might you know won't slam it down behind under the the moving averages they probably will um it doesn't mean the price of silver will go down silver has nothing to do with the comics anymore they've they've split apart and uh if you want physical silver in your own possession you're gonna have to pay up for it so uh, contact andy andy at milesfranklin.com send him an email and um Get as much silver as you can in your own possession. This is Big Swear. I will talk to you later. Pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now. Pay me your go to jail. Pay me my silver now. Eric, pay me, pay me.